Hi, I'm Ryan Ruff from Kincaid's Music, and today we're going to talk about the proper way to oil your valves. Uh, you see I've got a trumpet here, but this would be good for any instrument that has a piston-style valve. Uh, trumpets, tr um, baritones, euphoniums, and tubas uh, all have piston-style valves. Um, the first thing that you want to make sure that you do is loosen uh, the cap down here. You don't want to loosen from here, you may unscrew the button. So loosen these, and then what you want to do is you want to pull them out part way. You do not want to pull them out all of the way, uh, because there may come, uh, you may become confused on which uh, of the valves goes into which of the casings. Uh, and if you become confused, there is a way to figure out uh, which one it goes into the, uh, into the right casings. Uh, and I'll get to that in a moment, but you only want to pull them part way out. You'll also notice that I've already unscrewed the cap to my valve oil so that I'm not trying to do both at the same time. Hold the trumpet with the valve sticking out of it and unscrew the cap. Already taken care of. You'll also notice when you look at the valves that there is a ridge down here where there are holes. That is the area where you want to place the valve oil. You do not want it up here, but down here below this break. So, you just put a little bit of oil on each one. It doesn't require a lot. And then you'll pu push your valves back down. Now, at this point, it's not a matter of just screwing these back together. What you need to do is grab up here at the top of the valve and rotate it clockwise until you hear a click or feel where it stops. I can no longer twist. It doesn't go that f any further. And now I can close the um, the cap the rest of the way down. That goes for each of them. You hear the click. The valve stops and I can put it the rest of the way down. That means the valve is properly lined up in the casing so that when I push it down the holes line up with the tubes. Uh, if not, then what will happen is you won't be able to blow air through the instrument. If that happens, you get to a point where you're trying to blow through the instrument and you can't do it. That's because one of your valves is not properly seated in the casing and it's not allowing air to pass through the horn. Uh, so make sure that you check uh, and make sure that they're properly seated by listening for that click and feeling where it stops rotating uh, before you screw the uh, cap back down. Uh, also, I mentioned earlier that if you do accidentally take all of your valves out and then get confused about which ones uh, go uh, back into which casings, there is a helpful hint on the vast majority of valves, and that is that you'll see right here uh, number one. That means that it is um, the first valve, and the first valve on uh, an instrument is going to be the one that your index finger is for, uh, the one that's typically closest to you, uh, no matter uh, what valved instrument you play. Um, so you'll know uh, which valve casing it goes back into based on the number found on the valve itself. Uh, so hopefully that, that um, will prevent you from getting confused as to which valve goes back into which casing. Well, I hope that's helped you out today. Um, be sure not to oil your valves too often, otherwise they'll get gummed up but uh, only as needed. Uh, when they start feeling like they're not working very well, um, then go ahead and put more valve oil on it. Also, need to make sure you're using proper technique and pushing the valve straight down. If you push it down on an angle, they will stick. And so uh, you don't want to confuse your uh, bad technique for your valves needing oil. Uh, putting too much oil, like I said, on your valves uh, will cause them to gum up. Uh, and you don't want to do that. So only as needed and make sure you're using proper technique. I hope that's been of help to you today. Uh, again, I'm Ryan from Kincaid's Music and uh, let us know if there's anything that we can do for you to help further your uh, music education.